Students of Jama Impensai Senior High Technical School at Abuaso in the Kwabre East District of the Ashanti region have developed a technology that generates electricity from plants and bacteria from soil. Ghana is well endowed with renewable energy resources which are yet to be fully exploited. Renewable energy currently contributes about 1% of the energy mix, but the aim is to achieve 10% by 2030. This technology by the students, when skilled up and adopted, could accelerate Ghana's ambitious targets. On Tech Thursday, Lava Firm's Kwesi Debra speaks with the innovators. We pick the soil from this um, farmland and the deep forest. It all uh, it already contains glucose. And the, soil the plant microbial the fuel the cell plant technology plant was produced from electricity generated bacteria like Escherichia coli and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The students also use soil samples from ponds, farmlands, and forests. Jane Tohima and Kansa is one of the students that worked on the technology. Our project is about plant microbial fuel cell technology for renewable energy creation and it's all about using plants to generate electricity and not only plants but bacteria from soil and in our project we use but soil from the deep forest the pond and also farmland and our project we can use it to charge our mobile phones our small fans calculated and even use it to light our LED Nickname G Pana, meaning Jama Pensan Powerhouse. The technology is housed in a rectangular structure. Both the plants and soil containing the bacteria are packed together in a number of booths connected with electricity wires, expected to facilitate reaction to generate the electricity. Kristolav Mogo Arthur, another team member, explains the scientific principle employed. We use the principle based on the redox reaction and we use the um, photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, what happened, the glucose, amount of glucose stored and the bacteria feeds to generate electricity. That's the idea we use generally. So that's how we came about generating our electricity, which is capable of charging our mobile phone, as you can see here, and as my colleague said already. Tire connecting. As you can see here, it's charging. The switch on the switch. Chemistry teacher yeah, Frank Ajakum, together with other tutors from the school's here. science department, led the problem. team now, to put together the technology. Now, you? you have to use bacteria and not all the types of bacteria. We have those that are capable of generating electricity and others that cannot do that. And so we came out with this innovation. Uh, dividing our chambers into MFCs uh, that are required to add up voltages in series to get a total voltage required to generate certain uh, uh, electricity to power certain electrical devices such as mobile phones. So it's a new technology in Ghana that has been started by our school, Jama Pensen Senior High School, and we wish to take it forward to the next level. You can charge it as long as the bacteria are present. Mr. Jikum says with the necessary support, it can be scaled up to change in this way. But if you should go outside to the environment, then street, we can mold our principal or our project underground with some electrodes to generate electricity to power, I mean, the street in Ghana. And so it is also environmentally what friendly. I mean, no, I mean, kind of toxic gases or greenhouse gases are being what? Evolved. Renewable energy is contributing to less than 10% of Ghana's energy mix. With just about 200 Ghana cities, this technology can be produced for households. Since we are using uh, plants, that means that we are putting if you want to build it in your house or gar gar garden or farmland, that means that you need more plants to get the setup there to generate electricity. If you do that, that means that it's not going to cost you much. Depending on the wood you want to use, if you want to use local wood, uh, plywood to mow the setup, it will cost you less than uh, 200 Ghana cities. 